everyone it's Krista and welcome back so by the title you can see that a new shampoo and conditioner the color proof line has sort of bumped my Kevin Murphy out of the top spot however it has not completely booted it off the face of my planet which is the Kevin Murphy hydrate me wash and rinse you guys know I love this for those of you that are new welcome and for everybody that's returning and has stuck around and put up with my crap Thank you. I love you. Okay. <laughs> Enough with the yucky love stuff. So, just a quick recap. I have used the Kevin Murphy Hydrate Me Wash and Rinse for the last 18 months, 19 months, I want to say. Somewhere in there, give or take, year and a half. And before that, for two years, I had used, no, excuse this bottle, it is really beat up. This is the Pureology Anti-Fade Complex, and it's the Hydrate Conditioner. Um which I wound up with an extra one of these and I just dilute it down and this is what I condition my makeup brushes with and my makeup brushes love it. Okay, so when I moved to this, which there's a correlation between all these, I'm, um, which I'm getting to, the Pureology, I thought this was better than sliced bread. And then I moved to the Kevin Murphy and I still love the Kevin Murphy. The, now the Kevin Murphy seriously put Pureology hands down to shame. It made Pureology feel like a dollar store um, generic brand conditioner and shampoo by comparison. Now when I got the color proof my stylist had just gotten them in that day. He hadn't tried them and he knows that um, I'm like it or love it and I'm very good at articulating why I do or why I don't. So I said I was game to try it and came home and the first day in the shower this felt like my hair was being coated with something um, it was sort of very odd and disturbing but I got out of the shower and I blow dried my hair and even though my hair did feel like it had something on it not in a gross way um, it just the texture felt different it blew out like a salon blowout. You know how we get home and we're kind of lazy and our hands aren't attached the same way as our stylist. So um, they can give us a beautiful, sleek, gorgeous blowout. And then we have a difficult time duplicating that at home. This allows me to do that. I just spray a little argon oil spray in my hair, blow it out, holds my style all day long. Um, it did take me a little bit of getting used to this. I used it, I think, for two and a half weeks before I decided to put use my Kevin Murphy. Um, and my hair immediately with the Kevin Murphy went back to feeling how it did before. I do think the Kevin Murphy is a touch more hydrating or moisturizing, which same difference. Um, more like a deeper conditioner feel to it. However, what bowled me over was that day that I went back to the Kevin Murphy after having used the color proof it was spitting rain outside and usually my hair in spitting rain as you guys can see um, you know I have naturally wavy hair you guys have seen it straight out of the shower and just put up without doing anything to kind of take some of that um, body out of it well the Kevin Murphy I went out and it was just sort of just that heavy mist feeling and my hair just did all kinds of weird crazy things like the normal things you would expect somebody with hair like mine to do which is when I had realized that I hadn't dawned on me all along is that the color proof tends to hold my blowout better um, and I'm not doing anything different and I think the reason why is if you guys and I will link to the color proof website below and you guys can go read all about that the color proof has all sorts of buzzwords in it. It has copolymers, nanotechnology, and anytime you hear copolymers and even talks on their website about things binding to your hair, which I think is what sort of gives it, um, I wouldn't want to say doll hair feeling because that's not like the, it just feels different. Um, maybe like a little silicone-y. Now in comparing the ingredients between the two, um, a lot of the quote unquote chemicals that are in these are identical, not necessarily exactly in the same order, 
the form of which might be a little bit different, which I do think in the overall does make a difference. Now, all of the all natural um, vegan type ingredients that are in here, which I guess all the ingredients are vegan, um, but the, all of the extracts and the, and the flowers and what have you that are in these are different. Uh, this does smell very reminiscent of the Pureology. Now, how these are all tied in, well, except Kevin Murphy. The guy who started Pureology sold it to L'Oreal Paris in 2007, and then he went out and, uh, who is this, Jim Markham, and he developed a brand new line, which, yeah, this is really, really great. I have gotten used to how it feels. Now, where this one also sort of pulls away from Kevin Murphy, even though I find the Kevin Murphy is actually more moisturizing to my hair. This does not dry it out at all. But where this excels over this is, is at the end of my second day hair, I really feel like I need to wash my hair. This, I can go out and sweat, you know, the oil builds up, you get dirt in your hair, your hair would get that dirty feeling. The weird thing is, is when my, if I've been sweaty, like down at the barn and I come in and I sit down and I cool off and I'm no longer sweaty, I don't feel like my hair has that crusty, dirty, salty feeling. It feels just like it did before. Also, if I pull, like say I pull all of this hair up and back with the Kevin Murphy and how my normal hair texture is, um, anytime I pull anything up into a clip or a ponytail, it's going to kink and bend and hold the wave there. I mean, I literally can take my finger and do this and hold it and my hair will take on that curl. See that? I just have tons of body in my hair. The thing about the color proof is, is if I blow my hair out straight, I pull it up in a clip to get it out of my eyes for a few hours and then I want to go out and take my bangs back down. I don't have to run the flat iron back over it. It just... I can just kind of PC finger it right back into place. So in that, I am really, really impressed. I don't think I will ever be without the Kevin Murphy. Um, just because even though it hasn't happened, I have felt like that color proof is going to build up in my hair just because it is coating my hair. But um, it's not coating it in a bad way. So I do think um, on a down day, every once in a while, I will just let my... If I'm going to wear my hair natural, I will go to my Kevin Murphy just for sort of a deep conditioning, um, sort of a break from whatever these highfalutin nanotechnology, particle, polymer, whatever they are, uh, coats my hair just to give my hair a break from that. Um, it probably doesn't need it. I think it's more a mental thing on my part just because I do like occasionally going back to how my natural hair actually feels. Um, as I said, not that the color proof feels bad, it just feels different from what my hair texture has been, um, you know, my whole life, almost 40 years here. Anyway guys, that is it. If you have any questions, please leave them below and we will see you when we see you. Bye bye.